All right, guys, I have time to record one more video while I'm driving to watch the movie. For those of you who saw my yesterday's video on how to avoid the burnout in network marketing and in online businesses, this is basically another video I'm shooting while I am still driving to the movie because I have another 20 minutes instead of listening to a stupid song. Uh, I guess I'll use this time to give you guys some more value. So. Uh, Two days back, I think, uh, I posted a video on how to be number one in network marketing and how to stay number one, right? And it was pretty much on working hard on your business and then saving and investing so that that, that, can, that thing can keep on paying for you for a long term, uh, even when the when things are not the way you are supposed, you know, you expect them to, right? So one gentleman asked me, I think it was Chris, uh, Uncle, where actually you are investing your money? How do we invest? Okay, very good question. So. Uh, Pretty much for a, for the most period of my life, I'll say for the last five or ten years, uh, well, six years now, in fact, I'll say, uh, I've been investing in real estate. Uh, that's pretty much 90% of my portfolio and about 10% in uh, gold and silver. Uh, in real estate, earlier I have uh, invested in... Uh, you know the buy and sell kind of thing so basically invested in flats and these condominiums where the whole strategy was buying low selling high because that was the time real estate was at a peak and honestly i admit that was a mistake okay uh, the more books i'm reading about real estate the more of robert kiyosaki i read the more i listen to success people success stories of people who have become millionaires and multi-millionaires and billionaires from real estate uh, they all say the same thing cash is the king which is you got to be investing all the time for cash flow versus capital gains. Capital gains means you buy a property today for let's say $100,000 and you're looking forward to sell it for $200,000. So you're wanting to make that $100,000 uh, arbitrage, right? The spread. Uh, but what happens is uh, the real estate market also like uh, for till 2008, 2009, it was a real estate peak cycle all around the world. Okay, whether it was India, US, Singapore, a lot of pieces in Asia and all. And since then, there has been the burst in the real estate, right? So, and this bus, no, no one knows how long it's going to continue. So in times like this, uh, basically the prices fall down and the market slows down. For example, I'm seeing this in the real, real estate scenario in India, the market is slowing down right now. Uh, a lot of the properties which I bought from the purpose of selling it, they are, I'm not easily able to sell them right now. And builders are running out of funds to build these properties, right? So that was a little bit of wrong strategy. You learn from your mistakes, right? It's only when you make mistakes you learn. And that's why you listen and follow uh, my mentors. That's why you should be watching my video, uh, every video which I post on my Facebook wall on my YouTube channel, so that you can learn from my mistakes, okay? So the second type of real estate investments which you can do is cash flow investments. You know, best examples will be taking shops in uh, commercial projects so let's say there are a lot of residential condominiums but along with that every residential condominium typically will have a shop also right they have a little bit of small markets and all those are very good investment more often than not why because they're whether it's the real estate is slow whether the real estate is high once the condominium gets filled up there are let's say 500,000 families staying or whatever the shop will get busy it's common logic so you will keep on getting rentals uh, so that's one great example taking shops and you know these commercial markets markets just just make sure that that area for when you're looking for rentals location is everything why because uh, you don't want to take a shop in a place which will get occupied after 10 years that strategy of five years that strategy was more a buy and sell kind of strategy where you will take things in places which will get occupied after five or ten years because the prices can jack up you know and they can become double or triple easily uh, but when you're investing for rentals you want the rentals to start immediately moment that uh, structure is complete or you can buy in fact ready-made shops which already are being rented out uh, there uh, your capital gain will be next to nothing but then you have a fixed rental so the more secured rental based real estate properties you can buy uh, the more you can you will create your cash flow now those of you who are watching this video obviously a lot of you are at different levels right some of you are making tens and thousands of dollars in your business you have fifty thousand hundred thousand dollars lying in your account to invest that's different and some of you are just getting started right so uh, if you're just getting started in the beginning i'll say if now uh, if you don't have that big money to invest in real estate, keep your cash. Uh, cash is the king, I believe, right now. Uh, especially if you are in uh, 
uh, if you are in US, you want to hold on to your dollar because other currencies in the world are losing their value against the dollar and uh, ultimately dollar will also lose its value uh, but that time is still some months or a couple of years away so your dollar will be stronger than typically any other currency and that time if you are smart you can liquidate that dollar and buy real estate or whatever you want to buy in some other countries uh, second and third world countries and make a lot of money that's one uh, second thing is uh, if you are in if you are in uh, not in US you're from outside US you want to convert your start converting your currency into US dollars for now that's number one uh, number two is uh, real estate I've already talked about rentals uh, the best thing which I believe and I'm about to start investing heavily into this this is the perfect time right now I believe uh, is gold and silver right now you know gold is right now at about 1050 uh, US an ounce or something like that and silver is hardly about 10 or 14 bucks and yesterday I was listening to a gentleman from trendsresearch.com and he was like a gold is at its peak bottom right now where it typically cost around thousand to to get that piece out of the ground you know so you're getting it at really rock bottom right now and guess what in any kind of investing you want to buy things when things are at rock bottom so that when they go sky high you can sell them off so i believe i'm getting the feeling now don't take me on that okay this is this is no guarantee for anything like that whatever i'm sharing with you is just based on my experiences and my learning i might be wrong also okay uh, but i believe listening to uh, mike maloney at goldsilver.com listening to i forgot this guy's name uh, the website name is trendsresearch.com pretty awesome stuff uh that gold and silver could be the best investment for the next two or three years uh, because they are at the rock bottom they will not go um, a lot like the maybe they can still go down 10 20 percent but that's about it but once the hike starts to happen and it can because the world is looking a little bit tricky right now you know with this refugee crisis with the bombings in paris with the talks about world war three and so much so many things right the world is in a little bit of crisis right now and i'll not be surprised if the economy totally busts and the crash which was happened in 2000 which happened in 2008 the next crash happens in 2016 or 17 and it can be 10x bigger right so if that happens really yeah like you, well, that's what happened to gold right 2008 the crash happened 2011 the gold prices peaked and people who invested that time they tripled or made their money four times in the next three years now uh it's very important to sell also at the right time so i believe from the time the next crash will happen two to three years after that uh, will be the best time for the gold and silver bump to um, bubble to happen so this is what i believe uh, uh, will happen in the next few years and this is my investing advice to you especially gold and silver the beauty of gold and silver investment versus real estate investments is that you can start small right so if you're making right now two thousand dollars a month for example thousand dollars a month you can start saving whatever you can guys i was reading this book uh, the richest man of uh, babylon so right uh, fat, fascinating book there's one book one book which i can recommend you on money and it's a very old book right i think 30 40 years old is uh, the richest man of babylon you will learn a lot about saving and multiplying your money okay note it down the richest man of babylon uh so uh in that book i learned about uh, you know at least worst case you can save 20, 10 percent i've been fortunate enough to get guidance at an early stage and i think for the last six seven years since i've been making money uh, in this space i have been saving at least 20 at least 30 percent i think of my income so there's no excuse you cannot save more than uh, 10 or 20 percent of whatever you're earning right now whether you are in job or business so save that 10 20 percent and start buying gold and if you want silver the only thing with silver is it can be a little bit more volatile than gold uh, gold is more easy to sell the gains in silver can be more than gold but it can be a bit more volatile also so you decide your bets uh, i think me personally i'll go for a 50 50 portfolio uh, what I think I will be doing in the next six months to next two years is whatever amount I'm keeping aside for investing, let's say fifty thousand dollars, I'll keep twenty-five thousand. I'll still I'll still put into real estate and cash flow properties, and uh, remaining twenty-five percent I will divide it into two parts: fifty percent into gold and fifty percent into silver. 
that's uh, what is going to be my investing strategy for the next couple of years and as things happen as things will change i will keep on updating you okay uh, by the by the way uh, for those of you who are watching this uh, and you are if you're interested in investing in uh, cash flow based real estate in india i've been obviously investing for a long time now especially in the delhi area this is the capital uh, for pretty good returns there are a few very good options available right now uh, you can hit me privately in inbox and i can uh, connect you with a few people and you can get access to some deals at a very discounted rate because you are my friend obviously and get some guaranteed cash flow going for yourself pretty good stuff the same places where i am investing my money right now that's about it guys hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you do uh, tag your friends family the teammates whom you think can benefit from this advice and i do believe that everyone can benefit from this advice and um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have any more questions on investing uh, let me know and i will uh, love to answer you i am almost there at the picture hall uh, so peace Ankur agarwal take care man bye bye